friend, I am not cheating. From today's first holy scripture, all the citizens of Shechem and Beth Milo came together and proceeded to make Abimelech king by the terebinth at the memorial pillar in Shechem. When this was reported to him, Jotham went to the top of Mount Jerusalem and standing there cried out to them in a loud voice. Word of the Lord. And the cry was a prophetic warning. Watch what you are choosing for who you are choosing to be your king. Abimelech meant my father is king. And no sooner as he was voted in, chosen king, he changes his name to my brother is king. Ahimelech. No longer, no longer was father king, but people. Socialism takes place. Communism overrules all human rights. People become slaves. And this is the telltale sign of the vicious circle of sin. What goes around comes around. How often we fall from grace. What you decide is a God will be handed out to you. Because today we get to vote in a democracy, but it is not a person that we vote for, but ideals that we vote for. And that is the same as the story we heard of today. Just who do you want as your king? Who do you love above all? We pray today in the Holy Psalms. Great is his glory in your victory. Majesty and splendor you conferred upon him. You made him a blessing forever. You gladdened him with the joy of your face. Lord, in your strength, the king is glad. Word of the Lord. And we must always remember our Lord when we pray the Psalms. It is his victory in his glory that has made a blessing forever. With what? The joy of your face. What makes a parent smile? Their baby smiling back at them. It infuses a love relationship. The trust of the little child. The innocence of the child. And the parent is infused with self-sacrifice for the child. Who is our king but our true father? that loves us even more than this. Our Lord speaks to us in the Holy Gospel. The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with them for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. Pause for the Lord. And the parable continues that at all hours of the day, the landowner asked people to come work for a day's wage. And they all agreed, even to the last hour of the day. And then it was time to pay. And we heard in the gospel. These last ones worked only one hour. And you have made them equal to us who bore the day's burden in the heat. He said to them in reply, my friend, I am not cheating you. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. What if I wish to give this last one the same as you? Or am I not free to do as I wish with my own money? Are you envious because I am generous? Thus the last will be first and the first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. I remember one time our church chapel was flooded inside when it was raining, but you could not tell where the water was coming from. I decided to pray to St. Anthony to help me find where the rain water was coming from. I got up on a sprinkling day with my ladder on the roof and investigated all the possible areas water could be entering. I cleaned the gutters and something caught my attention. A pinhole near the spout was spiraling water. 
like a toilet flushed water in a toilet. It was swirling water into a literal pin-sized hole, like the tip of a ballpoint pen. I knew that was it. I covered it with some silicone stuff I bought, and I waited for the next rain, and it never flooded again. Think now of your little sins that you think are no big deal. A small pin-sized hole in your spiritual life will flood out the spirit and cause damage and devastation. And it happened this year again at another spot in the church. The rains began and the ceiling was falling in the restrooms at church. I prayed and I took my boys, I got my ladder. We patched all the pinholes on the roof and in the gutters and the leak stopped. Check yourself. Let's investigate our own life. How can I stop the leaks of sin in my life? How can I let others be first? How can I be last? Have I truly learned the litany of humility? There's one person that always comes to mind when I hear the last shall be first. And it is the thief that stole heaven. How did St. Dismas accomplish this? He stole God's heart. How does someone steal someone's heart? At the last minute, as Jesus was dying, pouring out his heart on the cross, St. Dismas was suffering alongside dying, too. He caught some of that heart pouring out of our Lord at the agony and shared the cross moment with Christ. And God enveloped himself around Dismas and gave him all mercy necessary to enter paradise with Jesus our Lord. Many sinners are entering heaven before all the self-proclaimed holy rollers. Many sinners are entering before even priests and bishops. What does this message say to me? That sin is okay? No. It means that mercy is amazing. It should change us into something beautiful. If I cannot forgive, I am not amazing. If I cannot let others be first, I will never be first. You see, the more I make others better than me, holier than me, the more I make myself better and holier, lower and lowly, love comes first. Father God, Father love comes first. Let's pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, I have a hard time letting others beat me and beat me down. I need your lesson of love. I need your champion blood in my soul to flourish and give mercy like never before. I desire to be yours, and I wish then to love what you love. My ways are not good, and your ways are simply amazing. Help us love thee more and more. Amen. From your brother in Christ, Adrian, at goingforth.com. Today's Random Bible Verse Generator. And now I commend you to God and to the word of his grace which is able to build you up and to give you the inheritance among all those who are sanctified. Amen. Spread the light, the love of God. Share this message.